A 70-200 f2.8 lens has been one of the most popular zoom lenses for professional photographers of many stripes, including those who shoot sports, portraits, nature, weddings, events, I mean, pretty much everybody. And when a photographer finds one of these zoom lenses that offers really good performance, excellent image quality, it becomes a staple of their kit and one of their go-to lenses. I can personally attest to this because after 20 years, I'm still using my Canon 70-200 f2.8 lens, which still has awesome image quality. And because of this, I was really excited to try Sigma's new 70-200 DG DNOS sport lens. And I'm happy to report that it stands up to the very high standards of professional photographers and what we look for in a modern 70-200 2.8 lens. So let's talk about the build quality first. The build quality of this lens is really excellent. It features dust and splash resistant seals at the mount and throughout the internal parts all around the critical areas. The lens barrel is constructed of metal and the buttons, the zoom ring, the aperture ring, and the focusing ring all feel very solid when they're turned or pressed or clicked. The lens has both internal zooming and internal focusing mechanisms that adds to the robustness of the design. And the materials used throughout the construction of this lens have a very high end feel. The design of this lens is also stellar with the buttons and dials placed very intuitively, which makes for a very small learning curve. Now, at first I wasn't a fan of the zoom ring being at the very front of the barrel, but after a short time using the 70-200, I quickly realized that this placement was really excellent because the zoom ring is not getting in the way of the tripod collar. So your hand has freedom to rotate it without any encumbrances as on some other. 70 to 200 lenses. And handheld, this also makes for a nice balance between the camera and the lens. Plus, the buttons and dials are placed pretty much perfectly, so you can find them easily while shooting without having to search for anything. So it's very intuitive. One thing I really like about this lens is when you loosen the tripod collar, you can rotate it like other lenses, but it clicks into place at 90 degree intervals. So you can click it for vertical horizontal shooting, and then you can click it also at the top if you don't want it in the way while you're hand holding. Cool feature. There are, however, a couple of quirks to the lens and its handling. First, it's the included lens hood, which attaches via a set screw on the front of the zoom barrel instead of a quarter click like we're used to. And I find this to be a bit clumsy, uh, but the bigger downside about the lens hood is that when you put it on the lens, it ends up covering a substantial amount of the zoom barrel, and then it gets in the way of your hand as you're shooting. So you could see how much of the barrel is covered by the uh, lens hood. The other quirky part about the construction of this lens is the tripod collar. Now, on most lenses, you just loosen the set screw and then the tripod collar slides right off. But on this lens, you have to actually unscrew four little screws on the bottom of the mounting plate, and then you just remove the plate. So that is not convenient at all. It's a little quirky. I'm not sure why they did that, but those two things are the most uh, quirky parts of the design. The lens is driven by a high response linear motor, which really provides super fast, accurate, and silent focusing. The AF is super smooth, it's really quick, and it locks onto subject's eyes with ease. I use this lens for a wrestling match, for portraits, and then for the most elusive subject of them all, children. And in all of these situations, whether I was indoors, under poor gym lighting, outside on a bright day, or in a dark room, the AF really had no problem finding faces and locking right on. There was zero hunting or searching or any other kind of quirky issues you sometimes find with lenses. Another area where this lens truly excels is in image quality. The images are tack sharp with rich colors, great contrast, and a lot of detail. And at all focal lengths, I was really impressed. And as a professional portrait photographer, this 7200 2.8 could easily replace 
my OEM 7200 lens for all of my portrait work, both in and out of my studio. Now, further helping you get sharp images is the built-in optical stabilization, which has modes for panning and still subjects. I use the stabilization and it works really, really well. And since I use this lens 99% of the time handheld, I really appreciated the image stabilizer and it came in really handy. Another area where this lens excels is in the bokeh. Now you do find some cat's eye bokeh around the edges of the frame when you're shooting wide open, but overall the bokeh is super pleasing. I found it to be very nice. And the separation between the subject and the background is very nice and very natural looking. All right, so let's wrap it up. Should you buy one of these? Well, I would say if you're in the market for a 7200 2.8 lens, this should be at the very top of your short list. Now when you compare it to the Sony G Master, that lens is a little lighter and I still think it kind of edges this out when it comes to the quality of the construction and the image quality. But you're talking very, very narrow margins when it comes to the trade-off because this lens can be had for $1,500 versus the $2,800 price of the Sony lens. So you have to figure, is it worth that price difference for what you're getting? I found that this lens performs really well pretty much in every circumstance that I put it through. The image quality, as I mentioned, is awesome. It's made very well. And I think that if you go with this Sigma lens, you're going to be very happy with it. If you're in the market for this lens, I would appreciate it if you check out my links in the description below. Uh, I'd like to thank Sigma for sending me this lens, although they had no input on what I was going to say about it. And I would also like to thank B&H, who has been a great partner of mine. So they will send me gear to check out and review. And the only downside of that is I have to send it back. But if you're in the market for any gear, go to B&H. B&H Photo in New York is the world's greatest camera store. And I'm happy to work with them hand in hand to help bring these reviews to you. So if you like my reviews, you want me to do more, purchase your gear from B&H and they'll keep sending me stuff to review for you. So that's all I have for you friends today. Here's wishing you an awesome day. Go out and take some great pictures. I will see you in the next one. Peace.